Hello, and thank you for taking time to watch this BMC software video for the AR System Email Engine Test Utility. We hope you'll find this video helpful and informative. In this video, we'll introduce the AR System Email Test Utility, its purpose, discuss how to use the utility, and provide a video demonstration. The Email Engine Test Utility allows you to test your mailbox configuration settings independently of the AR System Email Engine. In addition to helping validate the mailbox configuration parameters, the utility can also be useful in helping to validate network connectivity issues to the mail server. So if you are confident your configuration values are correct, if there is a connectivity issue to the mail server, the utility will show the connection error. The utility is run from the command line and is prompt driven, so it's easy and intuitive to you. It works with all supported Remedy email engine protocols, which are SMTP and MAPI for outgoing, IMAP4, POP3, MBOX, and MAPI for incoming. Since this utility, like the email engine, uses Java Mail, you can also specify debug logging options along with the various TLS options for each protocol. The JVM options are all interchangeable and may be protocol specific. This would include the debug option of dash dmail.debug equals true, as well as the various TLS parameters for the protocols that support or use TLS. Those protocols being IMAP4, POP3, and SMTP. Typically, it is best to download and run the utility on the same system where the email engine is installed, as this helps to validate the connectivity from the email engine server system to the mail server. This is especially useful when validating network connectivity issues. The utility is available on the BMC communities, as well as the knowledge base from the BMC support web. It can be extracted to and run from any directory. It does not have to be run from the AR email install directory. However, as the utility does now ship with ARS 1902, it is installed in the AR email directory. You do need to make sure that the JRE home or Java home are set as system environment variables. Edit the test email.bat for Windows or the test email.sh file if on Unix to add or modify the Java mail parameters as needed. As mentioned previously, the utility is run from the command line and is prompt driven. You simply need to open the command prompt, then navigate to the folder where you downloaded and extracted the utility, then run test email.bat or test email.sh. When running the utility, you'll want to use the same connection values from the AR system email mailbox configure form so as to validate those values independently of the AR system email engine. So it may help to have the AR system email mailbox configuration form records open to the incoming or outgoing mailbox you're testing for. Here we see an example of a test email.bat from the utility. As mentioned on the previous slide, you may need to edit the test email.bat file to add debug logging or TLS parameter for a specific protocol. Essentially, the highlighted line for set Java ops is the only line you would need to edit. In this example, we see the debug logging was added as indicated by the dash dmail.debug equals true, and also that TLS for both SMTP and POP3 are enabled. For this demonstration, I'll actually be running the test utility from a 1902 AR server. For incoming email testing, the utility will read and print out to the screen the first five messages in the inbox, but will not delete them from the mail server. For outgoing email testing, the utility will send an actual email test message. So be sure to specify the valid recipient email address when prompted for in the to email address when running the utility. Now that we've given you some explanation on the purpose of the utility and some general information on running it, let's look at an actual test session. Here you see I have my mailbox configuration form opened to my outgoing and incoming mailboxes. I've already opened a command prompt to my AR email directory. Again, since this is 1902, I'll be using the test batch file from that directory. So to start out, we just type in test email and hit enter. I'm going to test an outgoing message. So I'm going to select one for outgoing. I'm going to be using SMTP, so zero for SMTP. My server name is Remedy Prod 4 and I'm going to hit enter. The email server port is 25. Email server user is mailbox at remedy prod. And my password is remedy. Do I require SSL? No, so I'm going to select zero. From email address is mailbox at bmc.com. My two email address is going to be 
arsmail at bmc.com. And you can see that simply sent a message. That's all you'll get on the screen. It doesn't actually show you the message. Okay, now that we've done that, let's try an incoming. So we'll do test email again. And this time I'm going to do incoming, so I'm going to select zero for incoming. I'm going to select zero for POP3. Put in the name of my mail server, Memory Prod 4. The port this time for POP3 is 110. Whoops. And the user, email user is arsmail at Remedy. If I can type. And the email server password again, Remedy. In this case, no SSL again, so zero for SSL. And here you can see that it connected just fine, found, found six messages, but printed only the first five. So that gives you an idea of how simple this is to test. Again, it works with all the protocols that we support with the email engine. If we go back here, just want to give you a quick summary um, as this concludes the demonstration of the Air System Email Engine Test Utility. Again, as a reminder, you can download this utility with instructions on how to run it from the BMC community site, the knowledge base on the BMC support web, and it's also documented in the Remedy Deployment 1902 documentation page. Thank you for watching.